I know the plans I have for you. Plans and prospects. Plans and plans to give you hope. Hello and welcome to today's CCJ eKids session. I'd just like to say a big thank you and a well done to everybody who contributed to this. I'm very proud of your work. Now let's kick it off with the song for the week. Our song of the week is Home by Celebrate Africa. Hello boys and girls, what a wonderful song, Home by Celebrate Africa. I love that song. For our lesson today, here's Uncle Brian. Yay! Hello boys and girls, welcome to this week's episode of eKids. Uh, in this week's lesson, we want to learn about the Ten Commandments. But before we learn about the Ten Commandments, I want to ask a question. How do I get to your house? Can you tell me how? What do I need for me to get to your house? 
yes i need directions directions are instructions step by step that tells us how to get to a certain place commandments are also a set of instructions that god gave us to help us to know how to live in peace in harmony in joy with one another in good fellowship with god this is a good place for each and every christian so let's go into the today's lesson our lessons today is from exodus 20 from verse 1 to verse 17. in exodus 21 to 17 god gave the israelites the ten commandments so the israelites were slaves in egypt and god sent moses to take them from egypt to Cana. as they were passing through the desert they got to a mountain called mountain sinai there god gave the israelites the ten commandments but why did god give the israelites the ten commandments the ten commandments were they only for the Israelites? Are they relevant to us today? Let's stop and think. Yes, the Ten Commandments were important for the Israelites. They were slaves and they didn't know what to do, when to do, and how to do it. So the Ten Commandments was teaching them what they ought to do. To live happily with one another, to live happily as a family, to live happily in fellowship with God. So let's look at the commandments and what do they say. So the first four commandments, they say, you shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make idols. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy so these are the first four commandments and from these commandments we see that God was teaching the Israelites to love one another and to love God is this relevant in today's world yes it is relevant God loves us he expects us to respect him he expects us to honor his name and he expects us to trust him so honoring god means you don't use his name in vain loving god it means you don't have another god or anyone else whom you take to be more important to protect you except god trusting god means you have got a day a time of rest you rest in him you don't have worries and anxieties so that's that's what we learned from the first four uh, commandments what is the sabbath day so the sabbath day in the jewish tradition was the seventh day of the month now we know that the sabbath day is a place of rest that god gives to each and every one of us the question is what do we do on the sabbath day what do we do when we rest we rest and have fun with our family we rest and have time of fellowship sharing the word and we rest and also we study the bible and the word of god rest also means that when we've got something that is worrying us we give it to god and we choose to rest in him trusting that he will meet our needs the next commandment which is commandment number five it says honor your parents or honor your father and your mother so that your days will be many this is the first commandment with a promise god expects us to honor our parents our mothers and our fathers our elders our teachers our grandmothers and grandfathers that is god's expectation god wants us to do this because we love him 
One question that some of you may ask is, what if my parents are asking me to do the wrong thing, should I obey them? The commandment doesn't have a condition. You need to obey your parents. I believe that your parents will not ask you to do things that are wrong, that are against the word of God. If they do, you need to seek wisdom from God and also talk to a trusted adult who will be able to guide you and show you the right way. The next set of commandments from commandment number six to commandment number ten Number six, it says, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor, you shall not covet. These sets of uh, commandments, they show us how we ought to live with one another. This is a set of commandments that Jesus summarized by saying, you should do unto others as you like them to do unto you. There, God was showing us the best way to live with one another so that we've got joy within our communities. We don't need to be mean. We don't need to say bad things about our friends, even those of that we, we consider not our friends. We should not say bad things. About them. The Bible also doesn't like us when we lie. So we should not lie, whether to our parents, whether to save ourselves, the Bible teaches us not to lie. These commandments were given to us so that we live in peace, we live in confidence, and we've got joy. Now it's time for our memory verse. Thank you. Such a great lesson we heard. It is true, rules are not made to be broken, but to protect us. Now, it's time for our memory verse. The memory verse for the week is Psalm 51 verse 10. It says, create a new, clean heart within me. Fill me with pure thoughts and holy desires, ready to please you. Let's say that again. Psalm 51 verse 10 Create a new, clean heart within me. Fill me with pure thoughts and holy desires. Ready to please you. Let's see how you guys did with the memory. Psalm 51 verse 10 Create a new, clean heart within me. Fill me with pure thoughts and holy desires, ready to please you. Well, hello everybody and welcome to Game Time for this week. I hope you're all pumped and ready for this session because we've got again some very, very nice and challenging questions ready for you. And as you know, this is my favorite part of the whole lesson. So let's get right into it. So get rid of your pens and papers ready and let's get right into game time for this week. Okay, are you ready? Let's get going. Okay, so first question. Now, we saw in the story that the Israelites were on a particular mountain and Moses went up this mountain and God gave him the commandments. Now, which mountain did God give Moses the commandments on? So on which mountain did God give Moses the commandments? Okay, how many of you know that one? Easy peasy, right? Easy one to start off. The answer is, it was on Mount Sinai. Okay, so God gave Moses the commandments on Mount Sinai. Okay, second question. Um, bit of an easy one. Okay, how many tablets, on how many tablets were the commandments written? On how many tablets were the commandments written? 
to give her five tablets, ten tablets, two times a day, <laughs> three times a day, <laughs> no, those kinds of tablets, okay. On how many tablets were the commandments written? Okay, and the answer is two tablets, okay. So the commandments were written on two tablets. Third question. Now, these tablets we're talking about, okay, what were they made of? What were these tablets made of? Okay, so were they made of, you know, was it like a Samsung tablet, Apple, you know, was it glass and plastic? What were the tablets made of? Got your answer? Okay, and the answer is the tablets were made of stone. Okay, the tablets were made of stone. Okay, God gave Moses the tablets on uh, the commandments on stone tablets. Okay, question number four. Okay, um, now. We know that the commandments were written on tablets, but the question is, who wrote the commandments on the tablets? Who wrote the commandments on the tablets? Okay, was it Moses? Was it Joshua? Maybe Aaron? Okay, or was it Moses' sister Miriam? Okay, who wrote the commandments on the tablets? And the answer is, well, the Bible tells us that the commandments were written on the tablets by the finger of God himself. So God himself wrote the commandments on the tablets. I hope you got that one right. Let's move on to question number five. How many commandments were written on the tablet? On the tablets. <laughs> How many commandments were written on the tablets? Easy peasy, right? How many commandments were written on the tablets? And the answer is 10 commandments. Okay, so there are 10 commandments that God gave to the Israelites, okay, that we know um, that are so sort of famous today, okay. Bonus question, shall we go for a bonus question? Let's go for a bonus question, okay. So bonus question in case you got one of those wrong, but I think today's question is a little bit easy, but let's give you a bonus question anyway, okay. So your bonus question is uh, something quite interesting, but maybe a bit unrelated, but how many days, how many years did the Israelites uh, wander around the desert for? So how many years were the Israelites moving around the desert for? Okay, that's a bonus question. Okay, let's see how many of you get that right. So the Israelites, uh, obviously because they were complaining so much, they grumbled and God said, no, I'm gonna keep you guys in the desert for so many years and let a generation pass. Okay, how many years were they wandering in the desert for? And the answer to that is 40 years. Okay, so 40 years the Israelites wandered around in the desert. Okay, so, that's it for game time for this week. How many of you got, um, well, five out of five with a bonus question, okay? Okay, if you did, well done. If not, well, there'll always be next week where you can improve your marks and uh, get better at it, okay? But for now, thank you so much for joining us. So good to have you with us, and I hope you enjoyed game time for this week. We'll catch you again next week. Have a great week ahead. Ciao. so much fun today. I hope you guys enjoyed the program. I learned to not worship other gods but our God in heaven and also honor your mother and father. We have come to the end of our session and before we leave I want to pray for you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven we thank you for the lovely session we had. May you help us to have a new clean heart and follow your commandments. In Jesus' name, Amen. Bye. Somewhere you found me Kingdom wouldn't leave me the same And I still remember Everything you've done since then Cause you are the king Your reign is forever You give us your peace It feels like we're home It's not from the
You're never-